everybody welcome to my channel my name is Louisa how's everybody doing I'm doing a little bit better I'm not a hundred percent yet but I'm slowly getting there and uh, it's been a little bit difficult as you know but I'm glad I'm here with you and uh, by the way I want to thank everybody again for all the beautiful comments that you left um, it really meant a lot to me it helped me to get through uh, this event and uh, I'm very very grateful guys okay I may not have responded to every one of your comments but just know that I have read every single one of them okay and so here I am I'm trying to get back into the swing of things uh, it's not easy but you know the best thing to do when you suffer a, any kind of loss is to get back into the swing of things and so that's what I'm trying to do uh, and I'm also way behind on a lot of my unboxings and a lot of tutorials that I, that I promised that I would make for you. I'm a little behind so I thought I would uh, go ahead and do an unboxing today and I cannot wait to show you because I have the Magical Mystery Bead Box for the month of January from Jesse James Beads and if you haven't heard of Jesse James Beads I will leave a link down below so you can go check it out but they have the most beautiful unique beads you can ever imagine and I absolutely love all of their boxes there's always something in there that inspires me to create something beautiful so anyway I can't wait to show you so let's go ahead turn the camera around and we'll get started okay here's the box and I've already cut it open so let's see what's inside Pantone 2021 spring summer interesting look at all those beautiful colors spring summer 2021 trend colors plus two surprise extras that's pretty cool and here are all the colors and all the names of the mixes and these look absolutely yummy and even the names are yummy Ras raspberry sherbet bite-sized bead mix burnt coral bite-sized bead mix marigold bite-sized bead mix illuminating green ash mint bite cerulean french blue amethyst rust bite and then ai aqua now i do follow the um, color of the year that that's announced by the uh, pantone institute and every year they announce the color of the year which is basically the color trend that influences things such as clothing makeup house paint and even jewelry and I know that for 2021, they actually announced two colors uh, as the winners for the, this year. And one of them was Ultimate Gray and the other one was Illuminating Yellow. So I can see why they would have Illuminating Bite Sized Bead Mix here. So that's interesting. I don't see gray anywhere though, but that's okay. I don't usually use gray in jewelry unless I'm using silver tones or that kind of thing. But anyway, let's take a look. And oh my gosh, look at this. Look at these gorgeous colors. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. We have amethyst here, amethyst orchid. We have French blue. We have cerulean, green ash. Al Aqua Mint. These are so beautiful. Illuminating. That's that yellow from the uh, color of the year. Marigold. Rust. Burnt Coral. That is so beautiful. And we have Raspberry Sorbet. And the card did say plus two extras so this must be one of them looks like um, a metal mix of some sort and this must be the other one and these look like metal components but anyway you know what I'm gonna do let me go ahead and um, go through each one separately and that way you'll get to see all of them I'm going to be arranging the beads on these magic rods so you can see them properly okay instead of trying to hold them in my hands and I sure hate to open each one of these but I'm going to do it because I want you to see what's inside each of these packets 
So these are the colors from the Raspberry Sorbet Packet. And these are so beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh. It's like a mixture of fuchsia and silver. Let me put them on the rods. Okay, here they are. I've arranged the larger ones on this rod and the smaller ones on this one. Let me bring it up close so you can see. Look at this gorgeous bead here. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. It has some inlaid crystals and round beads and some metal pieces. And it has um, built-in caps already, okay? And then we have these here. Now I did put these bead caps up against these, okay? So we have two of these, very pretty. And then we have these other uh, fuchsia colored faceted rondelles, very pretty large. And I put these bead caps on them as well, as you can see, okay? And then we have these other ones. These look kind of look like little heart shapes, but, um, but not really, but they could be, okay, if you arrange them in this manner. And then we have these other metal beads with a very pretty design on them. And then these here, these I think are plastic and then these square metal beads. So yeah, these are the larger ones, a nice assortment as you can see. And then we have these other smaller ones. And I don't know if these are bead caps or not, but I just put them up against these uh, crackle beads just because they seem to fit nicely, but they could be threaded on separately as a metal accent of some sort. And then these, I've seen these before. They're so cute. They got a little crystal inside of them. I don't know if you guys can see that. And these other faceted square beads, cube beads, and then uh, six of these round, um, pale pink colored beads, and then two teardrop faceted beads. Next on the list is the Burnt Coral Bite Size Bead Mix. Let me go ahead and open it up. And those are some beautiful colors. Burnt Coral and Gold and Bronze. Here they are arranged on the rods. Let me show you this one first. Now these beads are very interesting. They look like they're wrapped in some kind of a thread or cord. They look like they're plastic and so I think I would want to cover up where the hole is. And so I place these bead caps up against them and then we've got this gorgeous boho bead. I mean look at this guys. Look how pretty that is. And then these are very interesting bead caps. I think they're bead caps but look at how interesting they look. And they don't fit these rondelles exactly but um, I wanted to put them up against the bead so you could see how they look. Very unique. Very different. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before but you know if you, if you get the right bead to fit in there it would look stunning. And then we have these other metal ones here and these have pretty large holes as you can see and then we have these other ones some faceted rondelles some large spaces right there daisy spaces these look like might they might be plastic right here and then these uh, lovely filigree i think they are filigree cage beads in a bronze color and then these very smooth I don't know what they're made out of, but anyway, uh, then we have these other ones here and these faceted crystals, rondelles, and some more faceted beads here. So yeah, these are very beautiful. I really love the colors. I love the color combination. Next is the Marigold mix. and. It's just a mixture of gold and burnt orange, very pretty. Now this one's really interesting. I, at first I thought they were bead caps, but they actually have a loop at the top. So I'm not really sure how you would use these. Uh, perhaps they can be both a bead cap and some kind of a way of, um, uh, you know, connecting something to the loops. 
I'm going to have to think about this one. But anyway, here are the larger ones and I did put bead caps on these uh, beautiful faceted crystals here. Okay, so I put them on those crystals. Then we have these boho beads and we have one of these. Very pretty faceted um, disc shaped bead. And then these cage beads. Now I put the, the bead caps on these because I didn't know where else to put these bead caps. But anyway, um, I thought this looked kind of interesting, you know, to have them on the bead caps on these uh, cage beads. So yeah, these are the larger ones. Okay, I love the burnt orange. And then these are the smaller ones. A couple of uh, metal beads and then these other rondelles and these faceted beads. These are plastic right here. And then a bunch of these little four millimeter round beads. So I'm sure you've noticed that there are pretty much two of each one. Okay, once in a while you get a single one like this one. But that's really nice because that means you can make earrings or something symmetrical. Next is the illuminating packet, which is a yellowish color. Here they are. Let me bring it up close. Look at this gorgeous bead here, guys. Oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. It looks like it has little bits of mother of pearl shell embedded on the bead. Very beautiful. And then we have these yellow boho beads some uh, crystal spacer beads and these are very interesting it looks like they have little tiny bumps on them very small and then these three so in this case we don't have all even numbers we have these three disc shaped faceted beads that are absolutely stunning they're just so sparkly and they're a very very pale yellow and then the smaller ones, here's a couple of teardrop faceted crystals, and then two of these spacer beads it looks like, or accent beads, and then three, no, four of these um, smooth oval beads, and I did put some bead caps on these round ones here. So there are four bead caps there and a couple of crystal spaces there, tiny ones. And these four faceted rondelles, a couple of large bicones and one round gold bead. So yeah, these are very beautiful. I love the color. Next is the bag of green ash colored beads. And these definitely look like spring. They're like a kind of a pale off green color. And here they are. Let me show you up close. We have three of these and three of these. I love these. These are so interesting looking. It looks like they have glitter on them. That's what they look like. And each one has a built-in bead cap. And then we have these other faceted disc-shaped beads. Three of these rondelles. So here's an instance where it's not all even numbers, but that's okay. Now, this is interesting. This bead cap was the only one in the collection, and it's different than these three bead caps here. So I'm not sure if that was an error or what but um, it doesn't matter because you know there are times when I only use one bead cap if I'm doing like a drop or something I may put a bead cap at the bottom so I can definitely work with that but um, yeah these these actually don't fit very well on this bead here they're a little bit too large but I love this color it's called ash green but to me it looks very minty or green ash I should say and then here are the smaller ones. We've got a bunch of these disc shaped beads and they're metal with a kind of a bumpy design on them. And these flat disc shaped beads as well. These are flat and some bicone shaped beads and some more rondelles. And I love these very 
beautiful flat rondelle beads. They're just so gorgeous. I've seen these before in different colors and I love using them. Very transparent. They're a very pale green, almost clear. And then a bunch of these little round ones, four millimeter in size and one metal bead. Not sure why this one's here, but <laughs> nevertheless, it's a very lovely collection. Next on the list is the mint collection. And to me, the other one, the one that I just showed you, look more like mint, but um, let's just open it up and see what's inside. What a beautiful shade of green that is. Oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. Here they are on the rods. I love this one, guys. Oh my gosh, look how sparkly that is. It is full of faceted crystals embedded right on the bead. Pretty large hole too, so you could use it on leather. And then we have these large rondelles. I put the bead caps on these. Now we got five bead caps. So once again, you know, you could use this at the bottom of a drop, for instance. I don't always put bead caps on both sides of the bead. Sometimes I just put it on one, depending on what I'm pairing it with. But these are really pretty too. I love these. And here's a couple of coin beads, metal. Let me bring it up so you can see. I love this shade of green. It's really pretty. And here are the smaller ones. We have two of these disco ball beads, they look like. One here and one here. I didn't put them together. And then a couple of rondelles here in a smoky color with some large spaces in between. And then these crackle oval shaped beads and these tiny coin beads with like a spiral design on them. They're so cute. And these leaf beads. And then a bunch of these round large pearl beads. They're not, it's not real pearl, but it's a pearl finish. And a bunch of these six millimeter round beads. These are so unique looking, I love these. And here's the cerulean color. Now, I would call this powder blue. To me, it looks like a powder blue, but um, I don't know. Perhaps it's like a pale cerulean. I really don't know. What do you think? Nevertheless, the color is absolutely gorgeous. It could even be a periwinkle. This is like a periwinkle color right here. But look how pretty this mix is. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. I know I keep saying that, but... You can't beat Jesse James beads, guys. They have the most unique and gorgeous beads. Such a gorgeous mix. So we have this larger one here, as you can see. And then we have these rondelles that I placed bead caps on. And I love these bead caps. They're so big and beautiful. And yeah, so these are like a pale blue color and these are a little bit more greenish, I would say. And then we have these other milky colored uh, faceted rondelles and these two large beads with a pearl finish on them. Don't you love that? Oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. And then the, here are the smaller ones. I put bead caps on these two couple of metal beads here and some clear beads, some rondelles and a couple of bicones. I just love this color. It's so pretty. So yeah, this is the Cerulean bead mix. And they call this French blue. Now, I would have called this one Cerulean and the other one French Blue, but what do I know? I mean, it clearly says here that this color is French Blue. 
So I'm not saying Jesse James named these because obviously they're calling them the 2021 trend colors, Pantone. So maybe the Pantone Institute named these colors. I don't know. But to me, this looks like cerulean. Let's take a look. Very deep, beautiful blue. This is such an elegant color. I love it. Now, there are actually two of these, but when I was arranging them on the rods, I accidentally dropped it. And I know it's somewhere around my studio. Um, I'll have to look for it, but I just want to let you know that there were two of these beautiful crackle beads here. Look at that. But anyway, look at this big one here, guys. Oh my gosh, so pretty. It has the built-in cap bead cap and then these other ones here I thought I, I would dress them up with these bead caps they look really nice with those silver filigree style bead caps and some of these disc shaped spacer beads with a bumpy design on them and these beautiful crystal encrusted beads I don't know how else to explain how they look but that's what they look like let me bring it up so you can see and some rondelles and these other ones these look like uh, kind of a squarish pillow shape these spacer beads here and like I said there are two of these and then we have some smaller ones here oval shaped beads and then we have these tiny barrel shaped beads faceted next we have the amethyst bead mix and that's one of my favorite colors different shades of purple as you can see let me go ahead and arrange it on the rods who else loves purple I love purple it's my favorite color and it's actually my birthstone this one's gorgeous it has some faceted crystals embedded on it. The crystals are like an iridescent kind of a color or AB, I should say. And I did put bead caps on these two here, okay, to give you some idea of how it dresses them up. And we got a couple of coin beads here, faceted, and some more of these bumpy style beads. And it looks like they have seed beads embedded on them. Can you guys see that? very interesting and then some more rondelles and there are a couple of metal spaces in between here as you can see and the smaller ones some rectangular shaped ones oval shaped smooth some faceted beads more spacer beads metal and these a bunch of these little round ones these are six millimeter in size is a total of eight so this is the amethyst orchid collection and here's the rust pack so if you're looking for four colors this would be it So here they are and look at this guys these look like a ruby color these two right here but we have three of these beautiful boho beads with the bead caps built in and some of these bronze colored metal beads here these are interesting and these are really interesting these spacer beads very large holes as you can see and these are actually I don't know what they are but um, I could see using these at the top of a tassel for instance a beaded tassel of some sort these two right here and then we got a couple of other metal beads here in a coppery color and then these ruby colored faceted ovals and here are the smaller ones
to oval shaped beads here in a matte or a frosted uh, kind of a color and four of these coin beads, I love these and a bunch of these little four millimeter beads here, round Okay, let me go ahead and bring out the last one and the name of it is AI Aqua, which I think stands for Artificial Intelligence Aqua. And here they are. All right, let me bring it up close so you can see. We have three of these. Look how beautiful these are. It looks like they have little daisy spaces on them. And then two of these. And I put bead caps on these large pearl finish beads and these are really beautiful look at that look how gorgeous these are so different so unique and then these two faceted crackle beads So these are the larger ones and here are the smaller ones, some coin beads, faceted, so unique guys. Where else can you find these beads? And some of these again with a little crystal inside of them, some more oval beads, smooth, very transparent, and some faceted beads, some crystal spacer beads little ones and then these cute cube beads in a very pale blue color and two bicones I love it so we also received um, the two surprises let me show you this one here so these are, look like a bunch of clasps. So these are magnetic clasps. Okay. And so is this one. And then we have a large lobster claw clasp. This is huge, guys. Look at that. But I love it. And some toggle clasps. Oh, these come in two colors, silver and it looks like an antique copper color. And this one's real pretty. Let me see if I can match them up. That looks like it goes together. This one looks like it goes together. And this one. So these, these are the gold ones. And then we have this one here. And this one here. This is very unique looking. I love it. And then we have this one and this one it looks like and then this tiny one and this bronze colored one so yeah these look like clasps all of them and then we also received this box of looks like metal spacer beads and I saw these in one of the other packets and I don't remember which one but um, they look very similar and I thought I saw these as well but that's nice that they give you these two extras so they're all silver antique silver except for these here very nice I'm definitely going to make something so I want you to come back and see what I make with it. Um, I may use uh, two colors in one design. I don't know yet. I have to look at it, study it, figure out what I'm going to do. And I did put them back, guys. <laughs> I did put them back because I don't want to have a big mess of, you know, rainbow beads all over the place. So anyway, that's it for today's unboxing. I am going to make something with these beads, definitely, and I'll let you know. So let me go ahead and put this away and I'll come back and say goodbye. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing. I sure did. I had a lot of fun. I absolutely love the colors and the beads and 
I can't wait to dig in and come up with something nice. And when I do, I promise I will show you, okay? All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done it. And I will see you next time. Bye.